Today, we're going to learn sharps, flats, and natural signs, which we call accidenture here. These sharps, flats, and naturals can happen anytime during the song. It just only affects for one time, only for the notes. And it's good for only for a measure. So that's why we call this is accidenture. Means accidentally happen on that note, not whole entire through the song. What if you want to put the sharps and flats whole throughout the song, then we have to put it sharps and flats before the time signature like this. But if the sharps, flats, or natures are on the music during the playing, then we call that one accidental because it's a happen accidentally on only that note and only it's good for the measures. Now let's see what is sharps, flats, and natures. First, sharp. Have you ever seen this sign before? Yeah, this one can be found on the phones too. <laughs> the sharp sign. People call it pound sign but we call it sharp sign. Whenever you see the sign, you have to play the very next key to the right on the piano. The next sign is flat. Yes, think about the flat tire. What's gonna happen if you have a flat tire? Losing the air. Yes, gets lower. So flat means kind of down. So flat is going down. So whenever you see this sign, then you have to play the next key to the left, because left is going down. Now, the last one. Natural. If you see this sign, means cancel the old the effect of sharps and flats. So right after the sharp, if you see this natural, means to cancel the sharps. So you will just play it, nothing written on it. Or natural after the flats, that cancel the flats too. So it's kind of erasing everything. Now let's move to this piano and see how it's gonna affect. Now if you look at the number one, what is the note name? G, G here. Now what if we put the sharps on the G? Which key you supposed to play it? That one is A. So G sharp means you have to play a black key something but when it's a sharp, you go right side. So you play it this one. That's the sharps. That's it. And what if we play that one then? That's the flat. So from so G to the right is a sharp. From G to the left is flat because left is going down and right is going up. So whenever you see the sharp signs, but you go right side, very next to the right. And flat means very next key to the left. That one. Now, it seems pretty easy, right? Let's see it one more time. What about a D? Like this. D here. Definitely sharp means you go to the right. So th this one is a sharp. And flat means to the left. So that's the D flat. So if you see a D sharp, D flat, that's what it is. It seems pretty easy, right? Now, what if A to the sharp then? Yes, this one. And A to the flat is that one. Then what about, let's try it, this question. What is number one? F sharps, yes, F sharp. Okay, what about next one? D sharps, so it's going to be that one. Yes, what about the following one, number three? E flat, so go left side. Oh, but in here. There is no sharps, no black is between after E, right? E and F. Then what's gonna happen? Do we have a sharps for E? Mm, kind of, right? It's confusing. 
Now, if the key doesn't have any black key, then the sharp means you go right next, white key. So E sharp is F and B sharp is C. Got it? Yes, it's very confusing, but B doesn't have any black key, so we go sharp means going up, the right next key. That's what we call very, very next key to the right. So it doesn't have to be always white, black, white, black, but it can be white, white too. The closest key that we can go from white, black, white, black, white, black, white, and it doesn't have black key, but still go white, white, and black, we call that one half step. Half step means closest key in the music. So it can be like this, black and white and black and white, but if it doesn't have anything, then you will go to white too. That's a half step. This is a half step. The closest key, they're sitting right next to each other. Then what about a whole step? Whole step is two half steps. So literally one half step, two half step. This is whole step. Now, basically between a white key and a white key, which it has black key on it, then we call that one whole step. Whole step, because there is black key on it. And whole step, black key with it. And this one is not whole step. Why? Because it doesn't have any black keys between. So this is half step, the closest one. The same way. Between black key and black key, if there is white key on the middle, then this is whole step. Between black key and black key, if there is white key, yes, that's a whole step. So half step is the closest key sitting right next to each other. And whole step is the note between white key and white key or black key and black key there's supposed to be another key on it. So between white key and white key, it has to have black keys. Or black key to black key, between, you need white key. If there is white key, then that's whole step. Or you can remember, two half step is whole step. One, two. Now, there is very fun fact. The different notes, but the sounds are the same. Let's figure it out. What about this? If I play it that note, it can be G sharp or A flat. Just like this. The note is only one, but we can write it in two different ways. It's first one, G sharps or A flat. Got it? What about this then? C sharp or D flat. Yes, that's the same note. But the way of writing, we can write it C sharp like this or D flat. What about this then? Known as F sharp, right? But it can be G flat too. Yes, so we can write the same note as different names like this.